Data science is growing more popular every year. The evidence speaks for itself. If you go to LinkedIn and look for jobs as a data scientist in Europe, you will get around 250,000 results and almost 350,000 if you do it for the US territory. According to the job search website Indeed, the average salary for a data scientist is $145,332 per year in the United States, updated in January of 2023. Every day, the need for automation and effective understanding of data for a company to elevate its performance is only growing. But the good salaries or the number of vacancies can be the only reason you dive into a new field. First, you must find out if you will be enjoying your job. And this is why we collected these seven points that will help you realize if this is your true call. One, you love being a detective and you're always analyzing. If every time you come across a problem, instead of running, you feel intrigued about understanding it and want to find the best solution right away, you're probably on the right path. As a data scientist, you must understand a problem from various perspectives. That way, you can take the most out of the data collected and identify which information is genuinely beneficial to find the solution and put aside the one that isn't. You must be ready to approach every issue slightly differently every time. Of course, the experience will speed you up into knowing what strategy might work best for each type of situation. But it is always good to always be open to exploring new options. Finally, after you solve your case, you will usually have to explain the solution and how you came up with it according to your results and chosen methods. Some models are still black box, but this explanation part is increasing as a requirement every day. Number two, you're learning or already know how to code. Programming will be one of your best friends as someone who will work with considerable volumes of unstructured data. You would spend a lot of time writing scripts, automations, and programs to manage that information. You may even have to work with data in real time. So knowing how to code can come in very handy. The most important thing is not just that you know how to do it, but that you enjoy coding. Yes, it will save you a lot of time with data management, but it's true that you will also spend a lot of time creating the scripts. So it would be easier if you don't mind some solo time coding. Currently, Python is the most used language. If you already understand and know how to use it, awesome. But if you haven't started yet and are interested in the field, I would highly recommend you begin your learning journey as soon as possible. Number three, you can simplify complicated ideas and love explaining things to people. So you now have all the information needed to approach the issue. But what if the people that will implement a solution based on your findings aren't necessarily familiar with how data works? Refining your communication and explanation skills will be crucial to see the results you expect from all your hard work. Along with your verbal communication, you will need to choose the right tools to help you explain your findings. The main goal is to make the picture as clear as possible to the stakeholders so they can make the best decision possible for the project. Again, this step will be way easier if you do enjoy explaining things to other people. If you get excited each time you see in someone's eyes that they understand what you're explaining, this will be one of the most enjoyable parts of your job. Number four, you're curious about business and want to figure out how the best companies work. It is crucial for you to understand the business you're working for. The main goal for data scientists is to figure out the optimal way for it to function and get the best result possible in their field. Your curiosity and business intuition will give you the motivation to help your team as much as you can with all the findings you can get. Your mind should be invaded by questions like, why did this model work for this business? Why was that prediction not what happened in reality? And will this data project really create value for this business? Those thinking processes will give you a more in-depth and meaningful understanding of your business environment and its position in its market based on the data collected. Just like you'll have to work constantly on making your message as clear as possible, you will also have to train your active listening to try to find out what the stakeholders really need. So be curious about their goal or concern and ask all the questions you need to fully understand what you will have to work on. Number five, you enjoy math and statistics and have some solid skills in this area. How much knowledge on these topics would you need in the field? It's not necessary to hold a master's in math or statistics if you're heading into data science, but 
Having very strong fundamental skills in these areas and being interested in learning more about them is vital. As a data scientist, you will constantly face statistical models such as regression, optimization, clustering, decision trees, and random forest. Not only that, but you will also have to create algorithms and use complex equations in the process. The combination of programming and this knowledge will give you the tools to manage and understand data. Number six, you're keen to work with AI and machine learning tools. Okay, this far, I've probably made it look like you will have to do almost everything manually. But in reality, there are many tools out there that can help you with the absurdly big amount of data that humans are producing every day. When facing these amounts of data, AI and machine learning will help you to break all of it down into something a human can handle. You will have to use the knowledge and abilities we mentioned before to understand the results shown, along with the process behind it, and make sense of all the information you gathered for your issue. You will work hand in hand with these technologies and will complement what you find out with your business intelligence. Number seven, you're a big picture person and like to understand the architecture, not just individual tasks. We've already discussed the importance of understanding the business as a whole, but how could this big picture approach also be needed in terms of data? Being able to comprehend data architecture will help you respond to questions like, how was it created? How has it been recorded? And how is it managed and stored? If you're keen on finding these answers, you'll have more accurate insights and more effective solutions to share with your team. This also means you must be on top of any data architecture changes and how this could impact your work. Okay, we've covered the seven ways to tell if data science could be your career path. But if you've heard about data analysis before, you might wonder what the differences are between a data analyst and a data scientist. So let's head into it. We've divided it into three main differences. One, the techniques each work with. The main difference is that a data analyst usually analyzes data with SQL and creates dashboards, while a data scientist mainly works with machine learning or deep learning models. For data science, you most often need cloud solutions like Google, AWS, or Azure instead. Two, types of predictions. While a data analyst typically works on finding insights through analyzing and sorting data and then presenting these insights to non-data people, scientists design the models to get a forecast, perform a classification task, or give a recommendation. Three, their usual perspective. A data analyst tends to go more into the details, while scientists need to have a helicopter view as well as be aware of the details. In short, data science is taking data analysis one step further. So if you're already in the data analysis world, the transition to data science shouldn't be that hard. Just remember that you will have to strengthen your programming and cloud engineering skills, besides improving your understanding of data and the company's goals. Now, I just wanted to remark that you don't have to be the absolute expert in the fields mentioned before to get started. But if you're considering it as your career path, be aware that you will have to develop the areas where you could improve, and that this is a journey where you will constantly be learning. As you may have noticed, data science requires you to be an integral professional. You must understand big things like data architecture and business priorities, and also pay attention to the smallest details in an equation or an algorithm. You will also need soft skills, such as effective communication, and working in teams and hard skills like understanding statistics, mathematics, and coding. Data scientists can work basically in any type of company. It is an always learning and evolving job that is well paid and sought after. At the end of the day, they are the ones helping companies make better decisions. And if you're interested in knowing more about the data science world, you might like to read this article on our webpage. And in the description below, you can learn how much it costs to become a data scientist. Spoiler alert, you don't have to pay anything up front. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. You can hit the like button if you found this video helpful. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.